Hey, what's up guys? So, just want to let you know that Torchlight in 2019 is free over on the Epic Game Store. My guess is they're launching it for free in announcement for Torchlight Frontiers, which is going to be the next game. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into uh, Torchlight and get you guys some gameplay. And to be honest, I don't think I actually played Torchlight uh one at all. Um, in fact, when the game first came out, I remember even as a younger age, I looked at this game and I was like, it, I remember my friends were like, dude, it's kind of like Diablo. And I looked at the graphics. And I'm like, no way, dude. I, I just didn't want to touch at the time. So let's go ahead and create a new character and check out the game. I did play a little bit of Torchlight 2, um, but I don't recall playing Torchlight 1 at all. And Torchlight 2 was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, pet does anything different. But uh, I definitely want to go ahead and select the, uh, the va this is the class. There's the Destroyer, the uh, Vanquisher, and the Alchemist. But I'm going to go ahead and select the Vanquisher, obviously, for that uh, look. Uh, and I guess you get a pet. This looks like more, more like a wolf than a dog, but I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, there's, there's even Hardcore. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select Easy just because, well, I think the gameplay would be horrible if we uh, ripped. I must admit I felt a bit relieved. Petty assignments often signal the end of a vanquisher's career. I came to restore the flow of ember, but the darkness below Torchlight ran far deeper than the mines. It would be a test of both my skill and my conviction. Evil must be torn out of its root, and this one had buried itself deeper. Okay. Uh, welcome to the town of Torchlight. Explore the era by left-clicking to move around. Visit the denizens of the town to shop or find quests to perform when you're ready enter the mines to begin your journey okay so can you uh go into settings and oh you can there's no like options for um okay i wanted to use q as movement because i usually like that uh to like auto move these monsters attacks are disrupting my work i am vasam a scholar of ember, I traveled to Torchlight to study the vast supply of ember below, but these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need. Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of gleaming ember, I will reward you well. It should not be difficult. Look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. Okay, so you have to actually accept the quest. The gameplay feels really smooth. Like, I, I have not played this game, I, I think in so long. I might have played Torchlight 1 uh, at like a friend's house when they tried to get me into the game because I remember my friends telling me about this game and visually I was like it looks <laughs> it looks like a kid's game um, you know and and now as I've grown older I can appreciate gameplay for gameplay I don't really mind the graphics too much. I cannot concentrate with these monsters but if you have items to combine you will have to come back another time. Okay so basically we probably got to go ahead and kill monsters. So let's go ahead and uh, like play a little bit of the game and uh, we'll talk a little about it. Uh, again, I I haven't played this game, so I can't really give you guys tips on it, but I may be update you guys in the future with a uh, update to this game if I really am enjoying it. But in 2019, they've probably updated like the game uh, via not only visuals, but optimization and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're checking out Torchlight 1 in 2019, which is the whole point of this video. This is your inventory screen, drag and drop weapons, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna read every single like tip here. I'm, I'm assuming that it's just gonna be just like any other ARPG. Do we have like a skill tree? Oh, the inventory is interesting you know after so many iterations of different inventory systems oh wait this is an enemy that we can just fight Ring, over here i can't hold them back much longer you all right sil rest here a while i'm going ahead to finish the job it's no wonder master ulrich sent for my help the ember mines are overrun with these creatures his letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Syl, and that was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. Okay. Anyways, going back to what I was saying before. Like, after looking at so many different ARPGs, I still think Diablo 1... I like how you can weapon swap. Um... I still like Diablo 2's inventory system the best. <laughs> I mean, I just like how that everything is in position to where, like, you know, the helmet's at the top. I torchlight and began my exploration of the tunnels below. These mines are vast and aglow with ember. I've never seen so rich a vein. 
Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too could not resist the pull of ember. This ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. But yeah, I just like how like the boots are on like the bottom right and like the helm is over in the top, like middle. Like I don't know, it's just the the location uh, of those things. I guess we can zoom in and on the uh, graphics here, and I, th I think the game isn't that bad for like how it's aged, right? Um, I do like how it auto pick ups gold. That was uh, a quality of life thing that like median XL added, which is a Diablo mod. Oh, we already have like a an attack for like mana. What is this actually called? Ricochet is a class skill, fire again. Inflicts 88% of weapon DPS. Oh, so it doesn't even do like full damage. And your mana is low, okay. Uh, drink a mana, you may also press the corresponding number key at the potion map of Clicks Off. Okay. You've discovered a magical item. It's unidentified, which means that its magic powers are undiscovered. Don't know if I'm right clicking it. And identify scroll. Then clicking on that. Oh, so you actually have to identify it? I can't. Oh, is it only for. Oh, it requires a certain amount of dexterity. Is there stats? No, this is actually pretty cool, dude. Like I said, I, I have not played Torchlight 1, so this is like all new experience. I just don't know why I never revisited the game after. Um, you know, many years, because action RPG is, like, one of my favorite genres. And it just seems like a genre that, I don't know, there hasn't been any games in, like, a while that really uh, piqued my interest. I think the last one that, like, I deemed to be, like, absolutely, like, amazing uh, is honestly Path of Exile. And, like, I think the last Epoch has some potential, but, like, I want a game now. What does this do that to? I like how it, it does compare the uh, previous item. Can I just equip other things, too? Let's just equip the staff just to see if we can... Oh, you, you can't use... Oh, this is a melee. Okay, let's go ahead and re-equip that. But like I said uh, before, Last Epoch has a little bit of potential. Uh, Warhammer looked and played really good, but I didn't feel like it had the depth that I was looking for. I don't know. Oh, equipping items just it does change the way your character looks. That's cool. Sometimes, like in action RPGs, especially early on, like doesn't really change the way you look very much at all. But let's go ahead and just like uh, herd a bunch of enemies uh, versus like trying to individually shoot them. <laughs> But uh, like I mentioned before, my, my guess, the reason why they made this game free to play, and I remember some mechanic with like the pet, uh, where you can like use it, like you lose the pet for a little bit, but it can go into town. I'm not sure if that's in Torchlight 2, but I just remember that was a mechanic in Torchlight, one of them. You gain a level, click on the stats, okay. I actually like this, new stat points. Um, but if, if you guys are playing Torchlight in 2019, let me know what you guys think about the game, like the first one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pump it into deck. Well, how much decks? Oh, 13 decks. All right, let's go ahead and how many points do we have? Is it five? Where's the? Oh, points remaining two over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna put. Uh, okay, I'm. I'm guessing. Uh, oh wait, I can mouse over. Let me kill these guys first. So strength, strength increases melee damage and uh, by direct percentage. Okay, dexterity increases range damage. Magic is. Uh, let's say weapon. Elemental damage and then defense. Okay, so basically we're gonna be slamming everything in dexterity We'll worry about the other things later. Sometimes I just equip the the amount that's required to use the item Okay, so you can still use ricochet shot nice because some um, Weapons are or some skills I should say are tied to certain weapons and What was the, the ability it did? Uh, four crit knockback, one mana stolen per hit, increases missile range by two meters, increased XP. I wonder if we can dual wield the pistols too. Is there like a 
Okay, space opens up inventory. I was wondering if there was like some type of dodge roll mechanic. I think most action RPGs that are created... Um, you have completed okay, quest. Okay, Tracy. Speak to the individual. Use a town portal scroll. Oh, so you, you still have to use TP scrolls. Uh, but anyways, going back to what I was talking about with like the whole dodge mechanic. Most a ARPGs nowadays, they have like some type of dodge mechanic. Um, for you, they'll put like a giant like circle on the ground. But back in the day, like you basically just had to know certain like uh, rollouts that some of the bosses would do, and like certain positioning things. It's just like things you had to know, and there there was not go online look up how to defeat the boss. You either relied off of like gaming magazines or just like legitimately just hearing from friends. Oh, do we have a new skill point? Oh, wait, hold on, that's... Let's go ahead and kill this small little group over here, and then we'll... I wish it told me the exact number. Like, maybe there's something in options I can change. Okay. wonder what netbook mode is. Anyway, so we have Marksman, Rogue, or Arbiter. Oh, gosh, this is pretty cool. So we, we actually have an actual skill tree. Uh, needle arc, firing an arc of five darts that pierces foes. What's the last one? That's what I usually try to check out. Swift Dash, which silences enemies with a pair of dirks, impairing their movement and inducing bleeding. Treasure Hunter, increase the chance to find magic items. Oh, okay. So you can put up to 10 points into it. I'm not sure if that's going to be like a 3% each time. And you get up to like 30. Oh, what is this? Arbiter. Uh, oh, so you have like a trap. Advanced spell casting, reduces the level requirement for all spells and improves mana recharge rate. Dual wielding improves the damage of all weapons while dual wielding. Oh, that seems kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we have to get it to even dual wield in the first place. Did we, did we pick up any other? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. With this, we were. Wait. So you can wield a hatchet? That's really cool. You can wield a hatchet? So what's my. Maybe if they get within melee range, we'll, we'll hit them with a hatchet. Let's see. Whoa, that's really cool. This is actually really cool. <laughs> um, and I feel like the audio in this game, like the, the music, it's pretty decent. Like, it, it seems a lot more dark than the game looks. Oh, dude, I remember Exploding Bears from Diablo 1. Heck, we were playing Diablo 1 uh, not too long ago, so we're going to go and equip that because it gives us more stats. Can we, like, click to go down? Okay, we can. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I just noticed via looking at the... Uh, the, the, the game uh, capture right here. It doesn't show the loading screen, so I'm sorry if like I click and like what you guys see is like literally the game looking like it's freezing. It's because there is a loading screen. It's because I'm capturing the game.exe because this game does not do like borderless windowed, which is something I really dislike, especially when streaming because it kind of messes up with a lot of the overlays. Uh, but, you know, it's an old game. I'm not going to complain too much, especially since the game was free. But, I oh yeah, we got to put a skill point in. I was looking at all the skills and I got distracted <laughs> by the, the whole dual wielding. But so far, I can highly recommend it. Not only because I think the game is pretty decent, um, but I legitimately feel like the game feels pretty good and it's free, so like... <laughs> uh, I don't know if Torch 1, 1 has online, but I remember Diablo, uh, not Diablo, Torchlight 2 had online and it had a bunch of mods support and that was actually pretty cool. Wait, let's go move here. Just so I can see if anything's gonna actually attack me. Okay, so I think I'm probably gonna go marksman. Uh, we got arrow, hail, block, and parry. So there's like some type of multi shot. So you get uh, one percent critical hit chance. Is there a crit chance like on the stat sheet? Is there like a more detailed thing? Okay. Uh, improve the potency of potions. Increase the XP. Fine. Okay, that's gonna be pretty decent. Explosive shot. I really like this ricochet shot. R ranged weapon expertise. What does it cost? Because it costs four mana. I guess they cost the same. And uh, I'm really liking Rick. I wonder if is crit strikes with everything, or is it only with, with like skills, or is it with basic attacks? Some games like you have to get crit on that specific uh, ability. Um, oh, you can get seeking shot. I wonder if we can respec in this game. I mean, that could that could be pretty good. I kind of want to save it for that. But if I'm gonna go ahead and build that, um, I. It says, yeah, it's bows, pistols, crossbows. Let's go ahead and just uh, put points into this. And plus, 
It's a small amount of bonus damage. I might actually get that just so I can do 100% damage. And then uh, over on the stat sheet, we're going to go ahead and slam everything right into decks. But yeah, we'll play a little bit more of this and just kind of see the progression of the game and see what we get as quest rewards. But yeah, just the audio in this game is just great. You know, I, I, I'm kind of digging the ricochet shot. I'm not sure how slow the... Uh, what level do you have to be for that skill? Is it K? S? S for skills? Uh, requires level 5. Okay, let's get to at least level 5 and let's try out that skill. The... Uh, oh wait, no, you know what? Seeking shot is not till 10. I don't know if we'll get to level 10 in, th in this part of the video. Oh, we got it. Oh, okay. Either drop on one arm or give them to your pet. But opening your pet's inventory and dragging them. Oh, okay, okay. See, I, 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 I was not wrong on that. Where's the pet inventory? So if character turn all pet sheet. This is your pet's inventory. Your pet can carry as many items as you can. You can also have your pet pick up items directly from the ground by holding shift and clicking on them. Your pet can also equip a limited selection of items to improve their abilities. Oh. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So can I, like... Is there a way to, like tell the pet to go to the shop or something can i just hold shift oh so i can just i can hold shift and i can just slam everything into the pet's inventory <laughs> that's really cool uh we got leather gloves go ahead and identify these plus one mana wow so huge hey any advantage right and then we got some boots here it increases all electric damage by two all right go ahead and give the other thing to the pet shrine of mana Oh, wait, they put back shrines! Okay. The foreman's table. Oh, okay. But I'm curious to how you guys feel about this game visually. Like, visually, this game doesn't do anything for me. I'm not like, wow, I love these graphics. But they're, they're not as bad as I remember in terms of, like... I legitimately, you know, when I was a, at a younger age, I couldn't appreciate games for the gameplay if I was not interested in how they looked and sometimes I would try games but you know as a kid sometimes when you have to actually buy games your opinions on things are a little bit different because you have to actually purchase the thing yourself uh, whereas now like you, we have the ability to go online and kind of just look at uh, you know gameplay uh, reviews and sometimes you can have demos and stuff where again I just didn't have access to that I mean, I played Diablo 2 offline for so long. Oh, we got a ring. Sweet. After me. She must have thought I was in over my head again. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger, and I could use your help. I'm going after the fiend that was attacking Syl on the bridge. Will you join me? Okay. We have some new stuff. That's kind of cool. And we got a new table here. Uh, you find a spell scroll. In the spells tab of inventory, you can right-click on the scroll and drop in one of your uh, spell slots to learn it and you can gain a new ability you can also teach your pet skills by dropping them what the heck that is so cool retribution the caster is possessed with a vengeful spirit automatically striking back at all nearby attackers new spell at your spell books you may now cast as you would any other skills skills and spells can be mapped to the quick slots in the bottom of your screen by clicking on them okay that's really cool So does this cost mana? Okay. I mean, that straight up just sounds like one of those auras from Diablo too. <laughs> Yo, I'm having fun with this. All right, let's slam it on the dexterity until we start running into uh, situations where uh, we worried about uh, taking some damage. Oh, let's set the pet to aggressive stance, attack everything. Uh, and then we have another skill point. I'm just gonna put it on the marksman, and then if I need to respec or remake a character, I'm fine with that because I actually don't mind that. I know for a lot of people, like they don't want to remake a character, but like the way I played games back in the day, that's what I was used to. Well, I could definitely understand like if you made a really bad build, like if you made a bad build in Diablo 2, like pre having uh, what was it called? What was it called? The essences? Or, I forgot what exactly it was called. Uh, what is it? The <sighs> There, there's something you can get that lets you reset your stats, or you can go to, like, Akara and reset your stats or, you know, your skills and attribute points. But sometimes I would just experiment with some weird stuff. Like, I made an enchant source, an enchant bear sorceress and just weird things in the game. That was always enjoyable. But, I mean, 
it was more so that like you know you, you've already done everything in the game, and like after Ubers, I mean I guess you can mess around with the PvP, but. Oh, we have so many unidentified items. Okay, let's identify the ring for sure. Oh, whoops, I put it in this. Increase experience gain. Okay, so we can have two rings and one amulet. And then we have a belt that is, is it considered rare? What is the, what is the? Because I noticed there, there's different colors. Oh, so there's uniques and there's enchant. What is this like enchant? I guess the, the knockback might be the like unique. Quick clip that. I only have one ID scroll and like, I don't know, I'll save it for something that looks like it would be like better for damage. I don't know how rare identify scrolls are, or if I can just go to the town and buy them. Then well, and we just got a new skill, uh, it's a town portal. Uh, where was it? The spell? Oh, I'm sorry, fireball. And let's go ahead and equip fireball. I like this. I like this though. Like it's very more like Diablo one, where you like learn. Um, your skills by books, essentially. They call it scrolls. I think it should have been book. Like, in Diablo, um... Oh, we can have a vendor? What? Okay, hold on. This is... This is cool. Um... Oh, that, how do I sell? I hold shift while clicking the item to instantly move to the opposite pane. Okay, so this sells, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell everything that I'm not using. And then, can I also sell from here? Oh, that makes it so much easier. I don't know if you can use two of the... Okay, is there a buyback? Okay, cool. Um, I just want to buy back... Oh, wait, I have two pistols. I want to use dual, 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 dual pistols. Did that lower my attack speed? It's honestly about the same. <laughs> Let me see if that changes the damage. Oh, okay. Alright, I, I gotcha. So, I'm not sure if, like... It actually procs this attack, and then it procs this attack damage. I mean, maybe we'll be able to see if you're looking at the in integers, but... Um, ice resistance. One of them had, like, extra damage. Oh, it's, like, 1,000, and we have 1,200. This is 1,400. Um, portal scroll is pretty cheap. How do I buy? Oh, okay, you can just shift clip. Oh, there's a, a map scroll. Heal all? Oh, okay. Big mana potion, cracked cold ember. I'm guessing this is something we put into socketed things. Caster's buff by increased elemental resistance. I mean, that seems like it's pretty decent. Um, I want that. <laughs> but I guess we'll get that spell. Is this like an aura that we get to... Where's the buffs? I wish there was a thing that would specify buffs. Maybe that little... Uh, aura that's kind of around our character. So we're hitting for 17. That's kind of hard to see the numbers because the dog. That was like 41. 23. I'm trying to look if it's if it's shooting with like one of the weapons and then swapping out. But like, you know, there could always be critical hits. So we're 20. 630. Yeah, I guess we're waiting for like 26 is 30s and then crit is double damage, it seems like. But if we use this, what what are we hitting for? 11. 45. Okay, so there definitely is. Another one was 22 though. <laughs> 23. 17. I think it is rotating in between them. I mean, there's definitely one that's doing more. 25, 22. Yeah, I, I think it is rotating between them. But we'll eventually go back to town. Uh, I just want to fight, like, at least, like, one, like, kind of boss. Oh, so you actually have to click where it says stairs down. <laughs> is this called the dark chamber or is it dank chamber? <laughs> uh. Oh, a boss. Oh, have you. What have you done with Ulrich? I am here, Brink. I sent for Syl, but I don't recall inviting you or your friend. You may still prove 
useful, however. Be still. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess if we just hit while his back is facing towards something, we can maybe uh, have that ricochet shot hit him again. Oh, there's a mana potion on top of a barrel. That's interesting. Maybe I should just auto, because the the charge shot does actually less damage than my base auto attack. What is this thing for? 31, okay. Oh, it has a cooldown, though. But uh, if he's near a wall, it might be better to use the charge shot. So I guess our pet isn't doing much better. I'm guessing the pet is hitting for, like, the twos. But I think maybe, like as far as criticism, I don't really have too much criticism for the game other than like, I feel like the voice acting is a little subpar from like Diablo, like even Diablo 1. What has happened? Alas, my friend. You say this is Ulrich's doing? If his summons was a trap, but why? The corruption here must have overwhelmed his mind. I can't believe it's so powerful. Yes. Yes. See, it's touched you as well. Blight is spreading through you. And if we don't find a way to stop it, you will meet the same fate as Brink. I'm sorry I brought you into this. I'll do my best to cure you. Meet me in Torchlight, and I'll tell you my plan. Okay. Let me grab our loot. I also wish, like, when, like, there's the audio, um, like you could still move around and you could still hear it kind of like you how you can like hear it in Path of Exile or Diablo 3 Which I understand like it's a newer game. Maybe they just don't have the technology to have like The audio going I feel like they should Be able to do it, but I again, I don't know like um, that, That's something too difficult for the game to do Waypoint what the heck we open up a chest and there's a monster again. This is this is more reminiscent of Diablo uh, 1 um, I actually don't think enemies can Maybe he had a sarcophagus in D2, but, uh, oh, this is a way game. Is this like a, a waypoint? Okay. Wait, did we hit level five? Oh, sweet. We can finally get, so we have options of farce pill. So, fire piercing ice projectile from a ranged weapon. Inflicts 68% of weapon DPS, 69% chance to freeze target. 100% interrupt chance. I mean, this is just going to be great because it's just going to give us extra crit, but obviously we want something to see visually, right? Um, oh, you can tab in between and, sl and still use right click. Oh, okay. That's kind of an interesting. I thought tab was going to select like um, a completely different set here. Okay, so let's go ahead and can we buy identification scrolls or you can buy items? Oh, so she sells like mage stuff, I'm guessing. Magical attribute. Okay. This is cracked eyeball. Bye. This is enchantment. Place items here and pay a feed. A random enchantment. Oh, whoops. I guess I had the wrong thing. Enchant price. 300. Does it overwrite something? That's what I'm kind of afraid of. It's like it's going to overwrite something. Um, let's go ahead and let's do it on this bow right here. So it actually does more damage. So six health stolen on hit. Let's see if we... Oh, the enchant price is 575. Why is it more expensive on this? Perhaps it's the level of the item. Like, not like the requirement level, but like, like there's it's something even in Diablo 2 where things have like an item level. But uh, we're gonna go and sell like anything. Uh, the, oops, wait, you can wield a hammer? Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Because uh, I'm guessing the attack speed on the thing, the other thing was gonna be way too slow. And then we'll keep that. See you later. Oh, so it has like this little icon above. Uh, I'm hoping there's more towns and other things. Oh, we found the gleaming ember. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Here's your reward. This is a fine, clear piece. 
but there's something odd about it. All of the ember from Torchlight seems to have a special quality. Well, I'll still understand it better. Okay, so we get fame. I have no idea what fame is. Is is this? It says GP. I don't think we gain that. Hope I can get back to the tunnel soon. I'm not used to all this fresh air. Uh, I'm really interested to see. Oh, here we go. Here's what I actually wanted. I identify scroll. So we can identify everything. That is impossible. I'll poison him. So there's your resistance, but I wish I knew how much damage we were dealing. Um, this is physical, so I guess I would want something that gives physical. I'll equip that because it gives us more mana. Um, oh, there's one more item. Oh, it has a socket. Two critical hit chance. Um, what's, what's three mana actually give? Is it like one to one? So we have 44. Oh, you can be over the amount? Oh, that's very interesting. Um, okay, what is this? Permanently increased defenses by two? Wait, what? Like, just... I, there was potions like this in Diablo 1, even. I think this was a Hellfire thing, to be honest. But, wow, this is insane. This will make a grand adventure. Perhaps you heard of me, Noah. This, that's a problem, really. Despite my astonishing talent, my word of ascendancy has not been yet spread amongst the masses. My ability is beyond question, but perhaps I have not found a tale truly worth telling. Perhaps your heroic deeds will inspire me. A beast known as... Vark Varkasir has been emerging at night to prowl about Torchlight. He, he is said to be a bat-like creature with great power. His lair is said to be on the third floor of the mine. Slay him and I'll immortalize you in Battleverse. Okay. I have some knowledge of the crypts below the mine. The Overseer experimented with methods of purifying amber. You may be able to use his knowledge to purge the corruption from you now. Find the Overseer's library. His notes should be there. Okay. I feel like the... Uh, is there like voice volume? There's music volume, but the sound volume is higher than this. But there's nothing to change voice. I feel like the voices are a little low. But, um... Hey there, stranger. Welcome to Torchlight. I'm Hatch, the richest man in town. Well, that's my plan, anyhow. I haven't worked out all the details yet, but the key is this here wand. It opens a portal to one particular spot, and I'm sure it must be full of treasure. Problem is, it's also full of monsters, so I can't have a look for myself. If you can handle the monsters, bring me the best treasure you find in there. You can keep any gold and weapons for yourself. Be careful, though. I don't think any other portals will work in there. What do you say? Oh. That's that's going. I was gonna make this like a half hour playthrough, but like I'm honestly enjoying this game a lot. Let's go ahead and extend it a little bit. Um, okay, because I just feel like there's just so much stuff I'm just I'm just curious about in this game. So I want to do a little bit more exploring. I mean, I like the XP game, but like two percent, like it, it could be like like do I not put it on that side? Oh, so if it's a two handed, it goes on the right side. Uh, what's the attack speed on this, by the way? Uh, average attack speed. Average attack speed. I, I just like things that have faster attack speed. Like I said, sometimes, uh, well actually, so far, I, most of the loading screens just don't show anything. Uh, another thing, if you want to like force attack, you can hold shift and it will do that. But we did get that new skill, so let's go ahead and try out that new skill. Uh, skill looks really cool. One thing that, that I like with the ricochet shot though, is I don't really have to line up the shot. I feel like there's just a little bit of RNG with it and it'll just like bounce, right? Actually, you know what? It does go straight, and then I think it until it hits an object. But what does it do for the damage? 68% weapon DPS. So does it actually do less damage? Because I know this does less damage, but it's technically hitting more targets too. But you have that chance to freeze. Oh, we have another skill point? Oh, okay. Well, I kind of want to just <laughs> upgrade that. Um, but uh, I'd really get to try out all the skills once, and then put it into things that are going to scale, like with everything if that makes sense and then maybe on a second character we'll like make it actually correct uh, go ahead and check out what this is okay 
That's just more damage. Oh, is this like a slower attack speed? Slow attack speed, but I'm guessing it hits harder. This thing has pretty long range, too. This Tome of Revelation. And he said there was no way to get back? So I'm guessing... So another thing that I'm not really too much a fan of, you can't animation cancel an ability after an attack. That's one thing that is like a quality of life thing that I really enjoy in like uh, other ARPGs. But again, I know this one, this this game is not, is not new at all. And it's okay. Oh, we got a ring. I'm guessing this puts us right back to town and then we give him this thing. And he's gonna give us like a new spell. Oh, you. Hold on. Uh, okay, let's. I don't wanna unlearn something and not have it ever. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna hold control and left click. Oh, it's a permanent thing? So you have four skills. Ah, uh, okay. Because I was curious to see if you, if you unlearn, do you get the scroll back? Or is that just like you learn the skill and then like that's it? You unlearn it permanently. I'm not sure if I like that idea, but I guess that that adds a little bit more hardcoreness to the game. But uh, let's slide more into decks, man. Uh, okay, uh, we did get uh, a new ring. So let's see if, what that ring does. So it's gonna give us uh, a two mana Elder Scroll resistance and ice resistance. So what is the resistance? Is it poison, fire, ice, lightning? Okay. All right, well, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part of our Torchlight playthrough um, in 2019. And like I said, I just kind of want to make this video because I think this game, it, it, it's going to have, well, maybe some things that are uh, similar in the new Torchlight Frontiers game, which uh, I want to say should be out relatively soon if they're announcing Torchlight is now free to follow up. It makes more sense, like, you know to release like the prequel of a game for free, release the other game, and that makes people more excited to try that out, if that makes sense. Uh, but this game, highly can recommend it. Again, it's free. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of uh, Torchlight. If you guys have any tips for me for Torchlight, uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely try to utilize some of them. Um, but I'm enjoying this game. It's, it's great, and I'm definitely going to be uh, messing around with this game, and I'll, I'll maybe update you guys in, in as far as, like, uh, giving you guys, like, uh, other tips and tricks and the suggestions uh, when you're starting out your characters and stuff like that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more Torchlight and more other gaming stuff, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell, and you'll definitely see more. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I'm signing out.